hope may have seemed lost for the family of 15-year-old Jacqueline Montgomery when a man was acquitted of her brutal rape and murder in 1976. But nearly 50 years later, her killer Dennis McGorry is today facing life imprisonment. This comes as a result of the work of the Crown Prosecution Service Appeals and Review Unit. The first stage for me was to present the director with a legal basis for reopening the investigation into this case. In 2003, there was a change in the law that allowed prosecutors to apply to the Court of Appeal to quash a previous acquittal and to retry a defendant again. It's a very serious step indeed to set aside a verdict in a murder trial. It's done very rarely. It's something that I've approved in only a handful of cases. Forensic samples that were taken from Jacqueline's body at the time that she died more than 47 years ago had remained sufficiently preserved. And we were able to take those samples and have them retested using modern techniques. When we did so, a DNA match came back linking Dennis McGorry to Jacqueline's murder. At the trial, a jury was able to see photographs which showed injuries which McGorry likely sustained whilst killing Jacqueline. They also heard of a page ripped from the diary. This was, again, vital evidence. I'm extremely proud of our team at the CPS who've used all of our legal powers to bring justice in this case. Our thoughts are with anyone who still mourns the loss of Jacqueline Montgomery's life and he now faces the prospect of ending his life behind bars.